Welcome back, everyone. We are going to be discussing a new movie today. So, again, if you guys want another movie to watch, I highly recommend this one. This is called Land of the Bad, starring Liam Hemsworth, Russell Crowe, uh, Luke Hemsworth, and even um, Ricky Whittle, and among many others. So, the entirety of this movie is based around uh, Liam Hemsworth's character, who plays as Kenny, and then we have... Um, Russell Crowe, who plays as Captain Eddie, who uh, his uh, codename is Reaper, and Liam Hemsworth's codename is Playboy. So the entirety of this movie is Liam Hemsworth's character, Playboy, goes into a spec ops team. They go into um, an area, and they are trying to do a spec ops mission, but unfortunately, the drone is having issues to where they're having issues seeing, and then by the time they're flying back up and running, they see their target, they get in very bad position, they get ambushed, and most of the team is dead. And so between um, Reaper and Playboy, they're having to work together to get him out out, out of enemy lines. And what happens is um, Reaper and Playboy become a very, you know, a good little dynamic group in this. Russell Crowe, I feel like, really knocked it out of the park, so to speak. I felt like he really nailed this character. He was a real veteran in this film, uh, and not only as a character, but also as an actor, because he had other things going on, and he did it a certain way that military should do, is, again, he was not going to be letting this man die or get left behind over enemy lines, because in one part of the movie, when he's trying to help him get into a certain area, he tells him, okay, look, you got to try to evac here. Unfortunately, it does not work, and then he's 18 hours in. And he's not wanting to leave this man. And his CO is telling him, you got to do this. And he almost gets closely getting close to being court-martialed because of him disobeying an order. But at the same time, it's like, okay, he already knows this guy. They've already struck a relationship. He's starting to trust him and say, hey, look, I need you to let me do this. And unfortunately, him and his partner get booted off. And he still is like, okay, what do I do? What do I do? You know, do I just, you know, not say anything? Do I like, you know, because again, it, and there was a sign in the movie and it really, and I like this, the way he says it is, he would have been a general if he would have watched his mouth. And that happened, it happens a lot in the military. Um, I had a great grandfather that had that problem. Um, I had a few other relatives that had that problem, a few friends that had that problem because of the way the military operates. Um, the CO is a real dick. I'm just going to say that. He's a real dick. He's more concerned about watching a basketball game, takes the phone off the hook in the rec room when Russell Crowe's character is waiting for his wife to tell him, hey, I'm in labor, and he is waiting and waiting and waiting, and there's a part in the movie when Playboy is in trouble, and he finds the rest of his team, and they're having a fight for survival, and he tries to cancel an airstrike, and he calls Reaper's phone, and he realizes Reaper does, like, oh, man, he tried calling me. So he has to rush to get to this, um, back to the area so he can call it off. And finally, when he does, he realizes that the phone was off the hook, and they're more concerned about watching the basketball game. And he just let loose, man. I, this was probably my favorite part in the movie because, again, you have, again, guys, I have never served in the military, but I've met, I have so many relatives, I have so many friends that have served, told me stories, I've seen ones in the military, and this is very common when you have COs that don't give a crap and they just do whatever they want. And he literally tells them, I called that phone several times, and it was not my pregnant wife. It was, and, you know, it was this person. And if I didn't do what I had to do, then that these people would be dead. And he says, we need to start doing our job and stop worrying about this. And he just unleashes on the TV, man. He just unleashes on this TV. And his CEO just looks at him. He says, you can take that out of my active pay, sir. And I love that. Again, Russell Crowe's character was probably my favorite character in this movie. He was my favorite character. I think he literally knocked it out of the park. He was a true person. He was a true soldier. He was a true comrade of his men and women in arms. And I think that's what makes Russell Crowe such a good character or a good actor because he does that in a lot of his movies. Um, it almost reminded me what he did in um, the, the, the uh, Pope's Priest where he was going against the Cardinals and he says, you've got a problem with me, you take it up my boss, who is the Pope? You know, something like that or even Gladiator. And that really 
you know, it really brought me back to those memories of watching him in those movies. So I definitely recommend this movie. If you are a former military uh, veteran or if you're in the military or if you like Russell Crowe or if you like movies like this, I do highly recommend this film. I highly recommend this film. It's got a lot of good action. It's got good story. It's got good characters. And um, I'm not sure if this is based on a true story. Um, as I am talking about this right now, I'm not 100% sure if it is based on a true story. Um, <clears throat> as of looking right now, um, it is not based on a true story. Um, but I guarantee you, they probably use different stories from former veteran, from veterans and ones that are currently serving in our nation that go through this and it actually show what they go through. Now, again, watching this movie almost made me think I was watching Extraction. Uh, it almost made me feel like I was was because it was very similar and i'm surprised this movie did not go straight to um netflix i was really shocked on that um so for some thoughts i was like okay you know he's trying to be like his brother chris hemsworth you know in certain times when he was fighting and it almost made me feel like again i was watching extraction which is not a bad thing because i like extraction one and two if you guys have not seen those reviews definitely check it out it's on the channel uh, again, I really don't have nothing to say about about this movie. It is a long movie; it's almost two hours long, and I definitely recommend it to a lot of uh, a lot of people. So, again, if you have not seen Land of the Bad, definitely check it out. It's a great movie. It's got great action, drama, thriller, survival. Definitely check it out. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments, and I'll see you as always on the next one.